What happened to that student loan money? money? What happened to the ten thousand dollars promised to the to the students with student loan debt? So I know you had Secretary Cardona on recently, and and I'll tell you he is working to to increase relief for students. And I, you know, look, I get it. I get the issue that you're talking about. I I had I had student loans. I mean, look, it's right now we have so many people, tens of millions of people in in the United States who are dealing with student loan. Debt, debt and responsibilities, and, responsibilities and it, it's standing, standing the way them being able to start a family or buy a, buy a home. And, and that's real. That is that real. Is real. You, know, you, you know, we need, need you to be the superhero that saves democracy. democracy. Somebody, Somebody has, has to push back, back on Joe Manchin. Manchin. That guy is stopping progress. progress. He's, He's ruining, ruining democracy. democracy. Are you willing to be that superhero? Because what scares me is if voting rights don't pass, or the Build Back Better plan doesn't pass, or police reform doesn't pass, I doubt you're going to get black people to go out there and vote in 2022 and 2024, and, you know, Trump will be president again. What, what's the plan for all of that? Well, I couldn't agree with you more on the, the, the seriousness of these issues and, and, and how people take these issues seriously. And so we're going to have to keep fighting on voting rights. We need to pass the John Lewis Voting Rights Advancement Act. We need to pass the Freedom to Vote Act and be relentless about pushing for that, which is what we've been doing and what I certainly am going to keep doing. We need to keep pushing for what we got to do to, to, to really reform the system that we know needs to be reformed with the George Floyd Justice and Policing Act. But, you know, again, Republicans stood in the way to get that done. So what did we do? Well, through the Department of Justice, we banned chokeholds and carotid holes. We said that law enforcement at the federal level, where we have the power to do it without Congress, that they have to wear body cameras when they're serving warrants. Uh, we put in place investigations of police departments that are active investigations right now. We are supporting consent decrees. So we are doing those things in the face of Republican opposition, but we cannot give up. None of us can. And and, and the reality is because the issues are too serious and impact everybody every day, and I agree with you. They're very serious. All right, who's the superhero that's going to speak against Joe Manchin? No. I want to know who the real president of this country is. Is it Joe Biden or Joe Manchin? She, she can hear me. Damn! <laughs> can you hear me when I'm president? They're acting like they can't hear me, yo. <laughs> I can hear you. Oh, so who's the real, so who's the real president of this country? Is it Joe Manchin or Joe Biden, Madam Vice President? Come on, Charlamagne. I really, I, it's Joe Biden. I can't tell. No, 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 no. It's Joe Biden. And don't start talking like a Republican about asking whether or not he's president. Do you think Joe Manchin is a problem? And it's Joe Biden. And, it's Joe Biden, and I'm vice president. My name is Kamala Harris. And the reality is because we are in office, we, we do, do. The, the things like the child, the child tax, tax credit, credit which is going to reduce black child poverty by 50 percent on track to do that. that. We do, we do things, things that are about saying that our Department of Justice is going to do these investigations and require that we end chokeholds and have body cameras. It is the work of saying we're going to get lead out of pipes and paint because our babies are suffering because of that. It is the work of saying people who ride public transit deserve the same kind of dignity that anybody else does. So let's improve that system. It is the work of saying that we have got to bring down prescription drug costs because folks who have diabetes should not be dying because they don't have enough money in their pocket. It's about saying black maternal mortality is a real issue that must be treated by everybody, including the White House, as a serious issue. I hear the frustration, but let's not deny the impact that we've had. And agree, and agree also, also that, there that there is a whole, whole lot more work to be done. To be done. And it is and not easy to do, but we, but we will, will not give up, and I will not give up. I just want you to know that that, that Madam Vice President, President that, that, that Kamala Harris, that's the one I like. That's, that's the one that, like. that's that's the one that was putting the pressure on people in Senate hearings. That's the one I'd like to see more often out here in these streets. Thank you for joining us, Madam. This interview shows you how incompetent this administration has been. 
Charlemagne the God asked her a simple question. Who's running this country? Joe Manchin or President Biden? When Donald Trump was in office, you knew who was running that ship. But Joe Biden and Kamala Harris has fallen down on the job. We have millions of illegal aliens crossing our border. We have inflation that we have never seen since the 1970s and 1980s. Our foreign policy is falling apart. Crime is out of control in America. All the basic issues that you need to have a successful society is falling apart. And Kamala Harris has the nerve to get mad at Charlemagne the God because of her incompetence that we have told you about when she was running in the primaries. You saw a woman who was not confident in what she was saying. She had to remind Charlemagne the God that Joe Biden is president and that she's vice president. You don't have to remind someone of your position if you competent and you know that people respect you in your position. This country is breaking down and you see it every day. They have been in office approximately a year. They have had a chance to put in their agenda, which they have, and we see it making this country fall apart, both Democrat and Republican. But we have also seen this administration do nothing for the black community. I'm not saying that they haven't done something with bills, but just for the black community. They have done something for the Asian community with the hate crimes bill. They have given $31 billion to the Native American community. They have let illegal aliens cross the border by the millions. But what have they specifically done for the black community but give us a holiday? For those of you who actually think this administration has done something, I feel sorry for you. Because right now, when you go to the store and you spend money on food, spend money on gas, your heating bill, it's double what it was last year. And right now, when you see this interview, you don't have any confidence that it's gonna get any better. Kamala Harris is an angry woman. It's not because Charlemagne asked her bad questions. It's that I truly believe that the woman can't handle the job and that she's incompetent. We told you so. You did not listen. You voted for Biden-Harris. You got it. Now you got to live with it. I want to thank you for listening to Black Sight. I hope you subscribe to this channel. Smash that like button. But also share this video.